came up on a midnight clear. Gave birth to her firstborn son, 
whom she wrapped in swaddling clothes and laid in a manger, because there was no place for them in the end. And in that region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of God appeared to them, and the glory of God shone around them, and they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, Be not afraid, for I bring you good news of great joy, which shall come to all the people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Sovereign. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom God is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which God has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying, which had been told them concerning this child. And all who, wondered, all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary kept all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen, and it had been told to them. May God add understanding to the reading of this gospel. Please be seated. One of the funnest sermons to be able to give as a pastor is on Christmas because they don't expect you to be long winded. You get up and say something warm and fuzzy and hope people get to feeling good about life and send them out with a blessing, just like the shepherds. God, I ask that you anoint my heart and anoint my lips. Remove me from myself and replace that with the movement of your Holy Spirit. Anoint the ears of those who would hear this message today, that it be the message you would have for them this day on their faith journey. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace among those with whom God is pleased. I want to assure you on this Christmas Eve of 2016, this simple message is very true and real this day as it was on the day of the recording of these words. To all of those who have sought knowledge and wisdom, God is pleased. To all of those who have sought to bring justice where there is injustice, God is pleased. To all of those that have fed the hungry and welcomed the refugee, God is pleased. To all who have clothed those in need, God is pleased. To all who have walked with others in sorrow and sadness, God is pleased. To those who have anticipated the coming of Christ, God is pleased. And to those who waited for the coming of Christ, God is pleased. The ones who listened for the annunciation of the Christ child, God is pleased. And now tonight as we truly experience the fulfillment of the coming of the Christ child, know that God is pleased. We tend to think that God is pleased with other people, other places, other times. I want to share with you a Christmas gift. On this night of fulfillment, you are the ones that God is pleased with. 
Sandra, God is pleased with you. Carl, good boy, God is pleased. Chris, God is pleased with you. Tammy, God's pleased with you. Regina, God's pleased with you too. Norma, God's pleased with you. And Debbie, God's happy with you too. David, God's real happy with you. Ashley, God is happy with you. And Leonard, God is happy with you. Roy, God's happy with you. Yeah, he said he was. <laughs> Even to those on the cruise tonight, Cheryl, God is happy with you. Marla, God is happy with you. Jack Thompson, God is happy with you. And Catherine, God is happy with you. If God is happy with you, the scripture tells us that we have peace. We've been given the greatest gift of all, the Christ child, an inner peace an inner calmness. For all that are listening on the video, this, this message on a video tonight or tomorrow, know that God is pleased with you. This is the message I feel we need to be reminded of this Christmas Eve. God is pleased not with just the elite or the great or the movers and the shakers. God is pleased with you. Accept that realization. Accept that gift. I urge you to accept that gift always going forth, proclaiming as the heavenly host was praising God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace among those with whom God is pleased. Again, know without a doubt, that God is pleased with you, for you are God's and created for God's pleasure. Would you pray with me? Dear God, simply but sincerely, we lift our hearts to you saying, thank you for Jesus. We remember the first announcement of Jesus' coming and the words that linger in our memories, fear not, good tidings, great cheer, all people, Savior, Christ the Lord. It is a long way from Bethlehem to our homes. It is a long way from that manger in the stable to a bed in our hearts. It is a long time from that first Christmas to this Christmas. But as new life came into the world then, it is our faith that it can come into our lives today. Over the tumult and the noise of our world, may we hear the voice of Christ ringing clear and true, speaking the words of peace and reconciliation. Amen. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Would rise as you're able. 253, Solid Night, and we'll do verses 1, 2, and 4.
Yeah.